We are so Okay, well, so awesome. Nice. This is Lunch Break Live. Welcome, Hello. everybody. Welcome, everybody. Okay, so Renee and I are going to be making something super, super healthy. So happy Valentine's Day, of course. I'm Tell Elizabeth Alfano. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> say that again. I'm Elizabeth Alfano. Yes. I'm on here a lot. And this is Renee. Renee Marinkovich. The animal hostage negotiator. Yes. I got to come Silver to this party chef. today. Yes, and Silver Chic Chef. We got this the Silver <gasps> in the kitchen. Chef. Bringing some love, bringing some Valentine's. So okay, we have not just Valentine's Day love and Valentine's Day energy. I personally think it is raining here today in I Los Angeles. Love it. it rains here. I think it, it actually beautiful rains here because this is how lovers so nice. stay in bed together. So Ooh, no, this is why it's I gotta raining. Go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm busy. Wait, I need yeah. one of the okay. right after this. I'm going right back to bed with my boyfriend. <laughs> so I'm just saying, there's a reason for the rain. Uh, but okay, in addition to love, 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 Valentine's Day is about your heart. So I okay. wanted to make something that was heart healthy. So, okay, hold on to your bootstraps. Okay. I've got banana, pumpkin, raisin, coconut, Ooh. Shimmy, shimmy, uh, cocoa pop. carrot, coconut, and yeah. raisin. I think I said that. Pumpkin, yeah. muffin, banana, muffins. But what you'll notice is mm. no flour. No sugar, no butter. No sugar. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, so this is the most healthy of healthy treats you can give yourself and your family. Wow. Today Thank I'm going to make them in muffins, but you can make them as cookies and you can make them as bars. And wow. Renee and I are going to make that happen. Woohoo! Oh, and it's super easy. I'm Did super I say super. That? super easy. Yeah, super yeah we're all about super, super easy. easy. Okay, wait. I also see there's a carrot. Oh, yes. There's well, because it's, it's, it's part of the muffin. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna let's see. get to work. Okay, okay, so super excited. Let's, let's get this it. party oh started, the shall party we? Is starting. Okay, people. Okay, so people so so. are asking us. So we're making some muffins. Yeah, we're making muffins. Make into, okay, I see some. Sorry, pumpkin. honey. Yeah, well, yeah, just tell me what to do. She is just dancing. Open that, would you? Oh, I have that. skills. I have skills. I have many, many skills. It includes. I can open a can. All right, great. Right. Okay. Okay. Are you sure about that? Well, <laughs> might have oversold that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's coming, people. It's Let's coming. Move. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is all for play. You I know think. what? I am actually going to move on to step two. Yes. So in addition to pumpkin, and we're not actually going to even put in that much pumpkin. It's only no. going to be half a cup of pumpkin. But the thing about pumpkin is when I was making this recipe, because I really did set out with the intention of, okay, no flour, no butter, no sugar. I thought, well, what's going to help it stay together? And the Like a good marriage. Good relationship. <laughs> what is going to help it stay, stay together? Okay, it's, we've got bananas little, and pumpkin here. That's Al Green I'm in that <laughs> refrain. Wait, is there a song? Al, Al Green, um, let's stay together, right? How's it going? It goes. It, uh, Tina Blank. Turner covered it. Let's Come let's on, see. let's stay Come together. On. Let's. let's Let's stay, stay together. together. Yes, yes, right. It's, it's just sad. like that. Yes. Michael Jackson it's, pop uh -oh, in uh -oh. No, it, no Michael Jackson. Gotta be something. Gotta be something. Ah. something. Oh, okay. I watched That's the video this Michael morning. Jackson. I don't know. <laughs> All right, she's, she's so, putting bananas in there. Is this okay, one whole so, banana? Yes, so this is one whole banana. And I'll tell you, I... I hmm. Peeled it before I really got to let you guys see it. So I really want the brownest banana possible. Oh, so yeah. the ones with the spots. Absolutely. And I, actually, to my preference, it's not brown enough. So when I'm in the grocery store, I'm like giving people a hockey hip check so I can get to the brown bananas. Because that's Hockey, hockey hip, hip check. check. Like uh, Rick you know. Scott. That's what oh, I'm the just vocabulary like, today. Just like Rick Scott. Wow. Just like Rick Scott. Oh, yeah. Scott. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You don't know who Rick Scott is. He's oh, a, he's a I no. love him. marketing maven and... Shout out to Rick Scott. Yeah, shout out to I, Rick Scott. I really Scott. love him. A, a yeah. vegan as well. So we're yes. so excited. Okay, Happy like, Valentine's Day, Rick Scott. So I'm mushing this. Mushy, mushy. And so this is really going to take the place of my butter. So that's why I have this mushy, mushy, brown, brown, very sweet. I feel another song coming. <laughs> mushy, mushy, <laughs> brown, mushy, brown, 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 brown. brown. Um, um, um. This is, this is this really is just the, us in this kitchen, right? There's the, no one. The creative we have, like, hour. interrupted someone's day with okay. singing. Maybe I think we'll I'm, keep doing that. I think I'm just about mushy enough. You're that's so, okay. yes. it's beautifully creamy. It's like baby food mush. It's well, cream. Yes, it goes that it's way. It's a wonderful binder. But you know, that's the, the thing. It binder. is a binder. And so it takes the place of butter and also a little bit of flour and the fact that it keeps things together, which is so wonderful. All right. So so back, back to of, our relationship analogy. Back to the relationship so analogy. It binds us together. Animal it's gonna kill hostage me. negotiator always thinking of ways to keep relationships together, together and fresh. Okay. 
Okay, Elizabeth. Elizabeth is so she's, she's the okay, lead I'm chef, here. as you can see. You can Renee is the sous chef. I in no, I'm just taking a space. Elizabeth and... Alfano's the Silver Chefs. Yes. The, uh, yes. the awesome vegans podcast hey, hostess guys. creator. We got a cup there. Her kitchen. We are working in her kitchen I know, right now. Fun. You know what? This While so I great. can On I give a, a plug? Actually, of course we love a plugs. plug Go for to it. so my awesome vegans podcast, which I do right here on Jane Unchained. Shout out to Jane, by the way. Happy Valentine's Day. I sure do love you, Jane. I sure do. We love you, Jane. Sure really do. do. Um, so you can only get over your shyness. Then we do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's an overused joke. We love you so much. So on so Monday, I'm gonna have Ed Begley here, <gasps> right on Jane on Jane. What? And oh, of course, come on, Ed Begley. I love Jr. him. Yeah, that we love so him. Great. And of course, Paige, I think this speaks to you because he's so sustainable. Yes, he's really eco so vegan all the way. All the way. He's so wonderful. So. And what are you guys gonna be doing? Well, he's taking me to his house, which you may know is completely 100% right. sustainable. His okay. house is a Leeds certified oh, sustainable. Oh, I would love. I can prep. Oh, wonderful. I would love if you could get me a quarter cup yep. of raisins and a half a cup. Okay, wait, basically wait. three quarter cups. I'm hanging on every word. Quarter quarter Ed Begley Jr. So Tell yes, us. Ed Begley Jr. is going to be on the Awesome Vegans podcast right here on Jane oh, Unchained wow. on Monday at 4.30 p.m. And he's going to take me through his house, which is 100% sustainable, lead certified. He's done many TV shows about it. Oh, thanks, hon. So I'm putting in some raisins now. So I'm super excited. I've never met him before. So, of course, we're going to go through his house, talk about his sustainability, and now we're going to sit down nice. and chat about being vegan. So. Wow. And how long has he been vegan? Uh, oh, my word. A very he's long very time. Very Oh, long thanks. Time. This is wonderful. I know he's been vegetarian like me for as like long it. as I can remember. Forty some. So plus. that was yeah. Oh, that was a math thing. That was that three was, quarters oh, a cup, which okay. was a half a cup plus a quarter cup. Totally, and I'm still good about together. your math skills because you were following that. All right, now. You, I'm going to take, so that was the raisins. Oh, that was raisins. So now I'm going to just, I'm not quite ready for coconut. Okay. I'm going to take a cup, and you can give me a half a cup when I I'm done with this. Okay, so that means we have one and a half cups. Yes, we're, we're still doing the, the <laughs> math She's doing your mental math, keeping our brains okay. fresh. So if you're <laughs> just your joining us, action. Okay. we are here with Quarter. animal hostage negotiator, That's Renee right. Rinkovich. Also, Elizabeth Alfano, so a chic company. chef. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome vegan Hi, podcast guys. hostess and creator. And we are all Second three of us, Jane and Jane contributors. I was just yeah. How do we know one another? Yes. I just came this looking for free amazing. food. She I know. <laughs> That's I was just out not knocking on doors and <laughs> it's really quite a story how the three of us came together know, though if you think about it because each one of us yeah. have, has our own background with animal rights background with veganism and I'm ready to hear your story Elizabeth so tell us oh gosh when did you become vegan well and how what's your, what's your vegan story um sous chef put it Put it away. Put it away. It's <laughs> gone. Okay, wait. By the way, we're making muffins. Yeah, we're, we're making muffins. Valentine delicious muffins. Yes. Okay. okay. Full cup. Elizabeth, take it away. So, um, I have a, a bit of a strange story. Maybe you guys have heard me tell this before. So, um, so story. when I was a kid, I think this will resonate with a lot of people. When I was a kid, I couldn't chew meat. I just knew that there was something wrong. I never liked the taste of it. It made me feel sick mm -hmm. physically, but also mentally when I was chewing it. And I was five, seven. I mean, I didn't know any of this stuff. Why about animals or any of that kind of stuff? I just didn't want to do it. And my parents, I love them. They're the most wonderful parents in the world. They didn't know any better. They were like, oh gosh, this kid's going to die. She's not eating meat. So they punished me pretty severely. And they said, you can't leave the table. Mm -hmm until you eat this meat and I didn't want to do it so I would stay alone it for three four hours and then I started hiding the meat like in my pants pockets and under the table and they would find it and then I'd be in trouble for lying so I grew up thinking I have to eat meat there's no way around it I don't like it I don't want it but that's just the way it goes and you know, so I never really did it myself. I'd go to parties, I'd be like, oh, I'll take the pasta, you know? So I was always basically vegetarian, but never feeling empowered to say anything about it. I didn't know about the dairy industry at that mm -hmm. point, but I never felt empowered to say anything about it because I was sort of, bullied is the wrong word, but I just felt like I have no choice here. It's just how it goes. Then my nephew is an athlete and he went to the University of Oregon and he came back his first semester, first break home at Thanksgiving and he said, my coach told me, no meat, no dairy. And I was like, you gotta be flipping wow. kidding me. You got permission to be vegan? I've been waiting for that permission my whole life since I've been a kid at the dinner table. I've been waiting for that permission. I was like vegan before he finished the sentence. So wow. that's my story. Wow, yeah. and how old were you then? Wow. When I went vegan? Yeah. Well, this was recently. I didn't go officially vegan until the end of 2015. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. this is, 
You've been, like Very you said, recent. you had been waiting your entire life. I've been waiting my And I you're mean, only 20, so this is amazing. <laughs> and I'm only 20, yes. Yeah, no, I've been waiting a very long time. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, she's wow. been waiting for Thank quite you. a while. Yeah, That's a, a beautiful time. story. Oh, no. And hiding the meat. Did the animals come up to you and start sniffing in your pockets or what? Uh, no, my folks just found it when they were oh, cleaning the okay. house. I'm sorry that happened. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get wow. back to what you're making now. What's okay, this? right. This so, is the um, coconut shreds. My lovely Ooh, Vanna White Renee yes. was able to get me a cup of coconut. And so, the way I like to cook, if it's okay, Renee, let's yeah. like stuff this to the top because I'm gonna like oh, then push like it down. Overstuff. So I like to overstuff my my stuff. And I'll say here, the coconut that I have is kind of long shreds of coconut. So this is there's no like madness to this method. Thanks, sweetie. That's just perfect um i'm going to actually if you can see here i don't know i'm gonna put this down and chop it a little bit because yeah, these are too thought, long for me that. yeah so okay. i really no method to the madness here um ideally if you're getting these at home just shred them just like shred them yourself or, or get, get them shredded yeah so yeah, that's yeah. a little okay. better so you it's know, a so lot smaller is what you're saying yes yes i'm gonna put this here just for you a know second. what i love about this recipe is i, I mean i'm ready to eat the dough oh <laughs> oh yeah. yes right that's, i mean that's also raw, wonderful raw, so there we go raw oh cookies yes here. raw muffins yes raw muffins absolutely <laughs> and i'm gonna basically do the same thing with the carrots okay so right. i have a, a carrot here i've already kind of pre-done it so it's a cup of carrot shreds which is great. I just take my shredder and, you know, Let's go easy. To it. Let's go to it. Easy, easy. easy. Look at that. This is one of the reasons why I say that cooking for me is, and I'll, I'd love to know what Renee thinks about this, it's such meditation for me because mm -hmm. chopping vegetables is just a wonderful feeling. Mm -hmm. All right, so listen. Absolutely. Dina Ferris Appel, who's an incredible hey, artist, she's going to be on Lunch Break Live in a couple of weeks, I believe, okay. next week. She says hello, Douglas Owens, Betty Ann Cornwall, Lo Zamora. Hi. We have another uh, from Douglas Love Muffins. That's what he's calling these. The Love Muffins. <laughs> oh, I love, love it. Muffins. The Love that's Muffins. So that's cute. us. We're the Love Muffins. We're making Love Muffins. Muffins. Danielle yeah. says hello. Hi, Danielle. Oh my gosh, Douglas says gum bananas in the kitchen. Oh. You know Linda Middlesworth from V Dog. Hi, Hi, Linda. Hi, Oh, so I'm adding love my you, dog. Oh, we totally you. love you. Yeah, we so love, love, my love. dog loves you now. Loves you. Loves now you. I'm adding um, my carrots, and I I kind of chopped this up a little bit too earlier so that they're not so so long. Yes. Um, maybe I can even do it a little bit more. Do you know a Douglas Owens who goes to U of O? I don't know. He's doing a shout out for U of O. Look at that. Hey Woo! everybody. Hey hey hey. We know him now. We know, we know him, him now. now. You know him That's now. Absolutely right. Here we yes. go. One more utensil. Here I'm gonna go ahead and take a moment as we're talking about love. Yes, so. Yeah. My, my, my debut broadcast with Jaden Chain was about the other kind of love that we imbibe, and we just talked about the meditative quality of cooking. So I do know that usually you like, I'll have my music, or I've got a podcast, or when I'm in silence and my cats are watching and my dog is there. It can just be so uh, relaxing to just get into each thing and think about each each actual action I'm taking part of, and maybe go through a verbal gratitude list or you know talk through my intentions and usually turn on an audible because I am a bookaholic and that's what I'm going to share with you. First of all, for those of you who haven't yet enjoyed the vegan lifestyle and you are pre-vegan, one of the questions we ask is why do we love our dogs and yet still eat pigs or wear cows? And I referenced this book by Melanie Joy. So if this hasn't come into your line of sight, this is a fantastic resource, a very friendly read to help you question the culture that we've been raised in and how well we've been marketed to. On the other end of the spectrum, this is about once we've made this, how do you really nurture yourself with food? And this was brought to me, uh, my attention by my mentor, and this is by Mark David, and I love referencing this work. It's called The Slow Down Diet, Eating for Pleasure, Energy, and Weight Loss. And though you may not be seeking any weight loss, but you may be seeking uh, to feel better on the inside and not have indigestion, it might just be a health thing or better energy. And this one really, this one culminates all of like a lot of ancient wisdom and common sense, but really often it is it, it isn't just what we're eating, but who we are when we are eating. So I have on my little, I have an app where I am so consistently right now, it's game changer. I sit down, I know, really? I sit down to eat my meal so I'm totally present with it. But what it does for my metabolism, that's the game changer. It's so helpful for my build, my body's ability to actually absorb the nutrients. So once Can you again, show us the books again? Yeah, these time? are such okay. rich, 
The Slow Down Diet. Slow Down Diet there by Mark David. So Mark David, thank you for this work. Another Super. easy read. Yes. Half a half an inch there. Yes, yes. And this one, why do we love dogs and yet eat pigs and wear cows? How did that Ooh. happen? Now it ain't that powerful. Here you go. Just coming little... off the protest about the fur and how Los Angeles yeah. is going fur ban and they're burning banning the sale and the wearing. Oh, I like this move. This is the good move. This is this is the move shimmy. right here. Let's see, shimmy, shimmy. Shout go out to Los Angeles for making that happen. Yes. Oh, shout out, so shout awesome. out. Okay, what so, do we so have awesome on here? There's so much goodness. Okay, so what's in here? Now we have all the basics. So Tell we us. have banana. Pumpkin, raisins, raw oats, carrots, and coconut. Oh. Shredded carrots, shredded coconut. Oh, but I gotta yeah. add a little bit of something, something, right? Ooh, what's so your something before something? you feel bad about this, Dr. Gregor, when I interviewed him, I'm Awesome Vegans, right here on Jane Unchained, he was like, go at it, you can't do harm, it's date syrup. So Dr. Gregor says, fine, then I go with it. So, what are you dating? Because I what love is him. This is date, this the date is, that we're having date here. Date syrup. This it's is the date, date syrup. It's, <gasps> a, it's a date syrup kind of day. We're dating dates. Dating dates. Dating dates. It's a date oh, that, thing. Oh, that prolific page. Um, <laughs> now, where do you get this? Pretty thing? prolific page. Pro with prolific <laughs> That's a lot of P's. Let me tell you. Alliteration Central here. That's what we do. Wait, wait, where do you I love the way everything's starting just the, the moisture is going through right. all the ingredients. Ooh, we're binding. How hard binding. is this? That's what I love. No, it's, it's just so easy. Do you have easy. a counter? Have some of these similar ingredients. I know that in my kitchen, if I, I know I'm out when I wait, don't have oatmeal yes, and yes. cinnamon. Yes, wait, Maple wait. syrup is such a great Maple sweetener. So Ooh, this is maple syrup. Maple. Okay, okay. So mm. two tablespoons of date syrup, one tablespoon of maple syrup, and one tablespoon of vanilla. So now we're okay. giving it a little something. Now, of course, a lot of raisins already have a little bit of okay. sugar on them. Mm -hmm. So wow. you're going to get a lot of sweetness from the brown banana. Oh, yeah. You're going to get a lot of sweetness from the raisins. And carrots, when they bake, give you great sweetness. So carrots are great natural sweetener. So I, I added a little a bit of extra sweetener there. So we've got our date syrup, we've got our maple syrup, and we've got vanilla. Now, here I just do the rest for a little bit of something-something. So every time I go mm -hmm. to the doctor, I get my blood blood pressure checked they're like you're dead you're dead so salt is not a problem for me but for other people I know they want to watch this so okay. in my so. recipe that's going to be on Jane Unchained it's also on my website elizabethalfano.com I say a half a teaspoon but for me I just go like okay I'm a, a little, little bit dash. Good. A yeah. little I just kind of go I'm a dasher I don't I rarely I'm a dasher so I yeah. rarely <laughs> you know uh it's all about measure it people out people want to know where do they get the date juice I mean the hmm. date uh Great question. syrup amazon.com oh. so now I add Added some cinnamon again cinnamon. in my recipe. It's gonna oh. say half a teaspoon. Season of the gods. I this know. Season, wait, say that so again. Good. So season addicting. Season of the gods. And, and then it's great to add to your coffee and your some pumpkin mm. spice. Pumpkin just spice. a little bit of that. Uh, again, in the recipe, it's gonna call for half a teaspoon. And then this. finally, finally, a what tad bit. A tad bit of baking soda. And this one, I really do measure out because I just don't want too much right. of this stuff. Because it could get bitter. It get, and yes, it gets kind like, of chalky. Oh, I shouldn't have been chalky. So, so bohemian. It's, it's really like between a, a quarter a, teaspoon and a half a teaspoon. Okay, quarter and a half. A what else is recipe on janeunchained.com? Yes, for sure. Hey, Absolutely. by the way, shout out to our Instagram. There's so many oh, people good. Instagramming, right? Yes, so great. it's Jane Unchained News. At Jane Unchained News, right? Okay. Instagrammy. What's your Instagrammy? <gasps> oh, I just launched it. I oh, did it. I mean, it's been Renee Marinkovich because I have my biz. Anyways, Animal Hostage Negotiator. There if you is. go to Animal Hostage, I've just relaunched Animal Hostage. And Animal Elizabeth? Hostage Negotiator. How Mine, people find you? Mine's really simple. Elizabeth Alfano. Okay. So that's my website. That's my Instagram. That's my Twitter. And that's it's all there. It's all yes. there. Okay, so I'm just mixing this together. You see it's gotten oh, very moist on us. Yeah. And Renee is totally right. So this is like add it all together and move on. This is the simplest. My of, favorite. You know, there, there aren't stages. There aren't seven bowls. One bowl, put everything in and move on. So yeah, that's, and that's fun. And busy pretty. ladies. We it's have a fun. lot going on. Animal Hostage Negotiator. Can yes. Can you please tell us, what does that even mean? Sorry. What is it that you are all about here? Did I catch sure. you on the spot? No, I, I know love you're that question. you're watching this, and Jane's it's, been talking about you. Like, I know. I, I, I love that. So. I love that. It's yes. really, it's a beautiful metaphor for anyone who calls themselves an animal activist because aren't we really trying in all of our endeavors to release the hostages that are animals? What animal is in a circumstance, in factory farming, in a puppy mill, under their own accord? 
Don't they want the freedom? So it, it's multi-level. And how did I come about it? Well, how do I fund my life? I'm a residential real estate agent and I'm part of a fabulous group and we're always seeking better knowledge and mentors. And uh, two years ago, I came across Chris Voss. So here's another tip of the day. Chris Voss was an FBI, wait for it, hostage negotiator. And he wrote a book called Never Split the Difference. And I was fortunate enough to be able to do some classes with him, with my team, and really dive into what is the power of emotional empathy, tactical empathy? How do we neutralize a conversation so that the other person isn't just completely reacting and putting up all the walls? How did they actually release hostages in what is probably one of the most emotional endeavors? That's life and death. Aren't we dealing with life and death as animal activists? So one day I said, oh my gosh, we're all animal hostage negotiators. So it's been one way for me to connect my activism with my business per a life. And I'm endeavoring to learn how and where to help anyone in animal rights learn to negotiate better. And that might just be a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone who's like, already has the wall up, you're a vegan, oh, to, truly trying to negotiate the release. I just got a call about two dogs in South Central in horrible conditions. The owners do not want to release the dogs. There's a rescue group wanting to take it. So it's in the animal rescue world. Of course, it's out there with big ag. I mean, at every point, aren't we all negotiators? And our little ones start negotiating with us the moment they start speaking. So yes, uh, it's Meaning everywhere. Children, so children as well as dogs, cats. I mean, it's all a negotiation. And I'm still Friends. learning. And you know, Jane just, I happen to be telling her a story and we were going over something and she just, she dove right into it and that's why she keeps referencing it. And I, I, I will repeat Chris Voss, animal hostage negotiator, and just know I'm out there diving in and learning and you can always contact me at Renee Marinkovich. We're looking to do more work online and do more role plays so that we're all learning to up our game. How do we connect? How do we actually help people yes. take the next step forward to saying, Oh my gosh, look what we can be doing on this beautiful Valentine's Day where I'm completely congruent with my values. No one suffered for this meal. That's what we get so excited about, Completely. right? We can eat well and do beautiful things. And you know how personal our food is. It's the way we convey love in so many ways, but no suffering has to be a part of that. And the truth is, you know, we were all marketed to. I was born in 66, I'm 52, and I've been marketed to from the womb. I mean, right out of the womb, I should be drinking milk and eating cereal and look at all these convenient packaged foods that come with processed meat and I mean, all that stuff and the sugar, the dairy. So I, I love reading, leading a revolutionary life now that is about compassion. And yet we all still have compassion for those who are still pre-vegan. Right, so, Elizabeth? Totally. Wow. She's totally, totally into it. She's totally so into just it. Making, so I'm making Elizabeth sure that my... Is, <laughs> I just want to make sure that it's all like heaven. so focused, and I absolutely love it. And I'm hoping, Renee, you have a camera, because we're just going to do it right now. Take a little quick well, picture. It's cute, because it looks it's like a little so booty cute. from that side. And then I realized we should turn it around, so it looks like a heart. It looks like a heart. They're a little Aww. more shapey. I know it. Oh, my God. Can we take a photo? I would love you to take a photo, and then I'm going to be... I think we're going to pop these in the oven. I'm going to try them, Oh, yes, 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 yes. So this is gonna pop in the oven. It's gonna pop in the oven at 350. 350. And I just, right? You know, they're there. So you have a bunch of options here. I just want to say. Yes. You can also, if you don't want to make heart muffins, but you want to take like bars with you on the way to work out or if you're hiking or something. Sure, sure, so sure. you can put it just flat in a dish like this and then chop them up when they're ready into bars. Ooh, or of course you can oh make nice. cookies if you want to give them to your kids and they can put them, you know, take them with them to school. You can do little cookies instead. So if you're going to do cookies, this will bake 350 for about 15 minutes. Okay. If you're going to do bars, it'll bake 350 at about 25 minutes. Here we've got muffins. They're pretty thick. So this is going to be about 23 to 25 minutes as well. Okay. So just going to pop right in. Renee, here. do you want to come back over here and hold yeah. the camera one? Yeah, taste wait. Taste yes, it? but I want to be able to taste because I remember <laughs> I was here for free food. So let's be, be clear. She decorated, Beautiful. she put them in the little, are these, are these, oh, they're so cute. I, I know. Okay. So, so, okay, it tends mm. to be a little bit of a brown and orange color, so plating is also going to help plating. make it super pretty. Yes. But uh, there you go. So these baked for about 20 minutes, and you can, if you want, you can put frosting on them. But I really went out of my way to make it no butter, oh. no sugar, no flour, so I didn't put frosting on them. But if you <laughs> felt like you wanted to make this for someone's birthday or you wanted a healthy option or something, then uh, you can. 
could do that. Hold on Paige a second. Paige is laughing. in training, aren't we? Oh, yes, totally. Oh, 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 every, every day. day. Every well, day. I taste this, oh, yes. Miss Elizabeth. Okay. okay. Now, I, want, I want real commentary, not just that it tastes good. Because I, I always okay. see these shows okay. and like... You know, on the news, right, I'm like, right. I want the real deal. I want <laughs> adjectives. Okay, okay, I'm gonna give you right. superlatives, adjectives, okay. you name it. Okay. 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 In the meantime, okay. while I'm Jane. tasting right. and okay. enjoying. Elizabeth's okay. gonna tell us what's next. All right. We've got Ed Bagley Jr. But also, okay. you know what I've always wanted to ask you? I've always wanted to ask you, have you always wanted to be a reporter? Oh. What's the matter? Wait, Claire Mann is saying hi from Australia. Oh, hi. Hi. Come Come on. On. The author of Vistopia, an incredible book. Yes. Thank you, Claire, uh, for yes, all you thank do. You. For and all your and empathy for anyone who's who's pursuing a compassionate lifestyle. Yeah. Her work. Yes. Claire, thank please text you. the link to your work. Yes. Yes. Put yes. it up. Put thank it up. you. Hi, Tracy Childs. Hi, Hi Tracy. She says it looks Diego. great. Hey, San Diego. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. We're going in so, for the... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm going to... Mm -hmm. You know, for Michelle. You're not just going to slip Michelle. that in there. No, I know, mm -hmm. but tell us... So have you oh. always wanted to be? Right. Oh. So I started reporting for PBS in sort of late 2009, mm -hmm. and then I went on to do uh, NPR and WGN Radio in Chicago and HuffPost, yeah. and it wasn't until I switched my own personal values in 2015 that I said, oh, okay, I'm going to switch my journalistic values, and I'm, mm. I'm moving, and now I just do plant-based reporting. And that could be on anything from the environment, our health, politics, subsidies that are going in the wrong way, going subsidies mm -hmm. going to the things mm -hmm. that make us sick, and then we have these high medical bills. So uh, it could be that, or it could be animals, of course. Obviously, animals, mm -hmm. the uh, impact of factory farming, animal agriculture, or health and baking and cooking. It can go lots of ways. So or just my own stuff and your own stuff and Renee's own stuff. So I just switched. It's plant-based only. How is it? Wow. Okay. Really? Okay. Oh, that okay. was not enough. It tastes mm -hmm. like it's granola muffin Oatmeal cookies, Ooh. your favorite from grandma, oh, oh, all, con all condensed in one muffin. Okay. Wow, and no so flour. No or, flour. No butter. I mean, it's, no got, sugar. it's got carrots in it. You could actually slip in some zucchini, I imagine, oh, too. Probably. I mean, I'm sure, just sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Got, it, it's got plenty. It's got like yeah. seven ingredients in here. Oatmeal. I love the date. Mm. Um, we've got we've got raisins, raisins we've got oatmeal, carrots, pumpkin, pumpkin, ground banana, carrots, coconut. Super, wow! No, no oil, no oil, no butter, no, and no sugar. No, no flour. Richard's sister, no oil, butter, or sugar. No, no, no. no. and lots of love and just love. everything you yeah. want and more. So yes. and more. Yes. Okay. Yes. While I have you though, I have yeah. another question sure, for Miss sure, Elizabeth. Sure, sure. Okay, more. So Bring I have on. to say, when I was younger and I saw, well, not that much younger, but Oprah. Mm -hmm. as well as Barbara Walters, I said, I really want to be a combination of the two. Oh. I just thought, oh, that's such a good combination. You kind of are like that. Oh. <gasps> She's got her oh. sassy Elizabeth Alfano, though. Can There's nothing like I Elizabeth. Love Paige. Oh. <laughs> Can I tell you, that's not how much I love Paige. Okay. And, and shout out to Paige. There ain't nobody like Paige. Well, you know, so we're all original. Like Let's remember that. Yeah. I said to my early morning class at 6 a.m. this morning, Listen, it's about loving yourself first. Yes, so it doesn't totally, matter if yeah. you have a Valentine because get yeah. one out there. It, guess what? Look in the mirror. Oh, no, and it's about yeah. loving yourself first and then being somebody who yeah. loves others, right? Oh, wow. Animals, plants, yeah. humans, causes, all of it. So, and, and just to elaborate that a little yeah. bit. So show compassion to yourself first. Particularly women, we're always the first to say, oh, mm. I look too fat. I should have done this. It wasn't good. We're so quick to be down on ourselves. Critical. None of that. Yeah, show the compassion to you first, and then you can shove it out to the rest of there the world. There you go. <laughs> Sprinkle it, shove it, yeah. whatever it takes. Yes. Okay, my next question for Elizabeth Alfano is okay. this. What has been, up to this point, one of your favorite interviews thus far? Just saying... Uh, in what's that? Oh, that's right. In, oh, yeah, yeah. Of, of of all of them, because like, because I started I doing saying, like okay, celebrities. Okay, you have two. I Go mean, because you know, it, it was a thrill to interview Woody Allen. Obviously, he's not vegan, but that was really wow, pretty. Woody pretty, Allen. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty fun to interview Woody Allen. Mark Ruffalo is one of the nicest people on the planet. Mm -hmm. Reese Witherspoon was also super sweet. Uh, Alexander Payne, he's the director of so many movies. <laughs> He's so gosh darn cute. It's hard to sort of focus on <laughs> anything <laughs> else. When, yeah. Uh, so there's you know, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Love Freeman it. was great. He's also oh, great. Wow. But in terms of my vegan peeps, sure, sure, uh, sure. So it's always a thrill to interview Moby. He's so knowledgeable. Uh, Billy Corgan was a huge, you know, lead singer of the Smashing, Smashing Pumpkins. Pumpkins. So that was sure. a huge interview. That took a while to get because he's mm. always on tour. Smashing Pumpkins came back, so he's always on tour. So that was super tricky. Um, Dr. Gregor's just a thrill. Aww. I mean, we had great chemistry. Our, yeah, the Cheese so. Trap, if you haven't read that book uh, yet. Right, yeah. Yeah. I, I just got it, yeah. That's, that's Dr. Barnard, right? Oh. Whom I also love. Oh, great. That's all right. How Not to Die? 
That's Dr. Gregory. That's Dr. Gregory. Oh, okay. love, love, right, and yeah. more love. Yes. Dr. Yes. Khan. I mean, yes. you know, so Dr. Khan. And Garth Davis. Yes, right. Where, so where can anybody see those? I'm Whoa. curious. And then I've got a comment. i got a question someone wants oh, to know oh, about. Sure thing. So all of my interviews are on ElizabethAlfano.com. Okay. And, um, you know, they were always, of course, originally recorded right here on Jane Unchained. So they all went live first right here on Jane Unchained. Wow. Then I take back my interviews and I edit them and I put them up. The fun nice. thing that I did is sign up on her newsletter. I've been oh. signing up on everyone's newsletters. I think it's super cool. And Jane Unchained, you can go to janeunchained.com and you can get the newsletters and you can see our content on a monthly. Shout out to Ellen Dead who's oh, working Ellen. tirelessly oh word, to get the you. information yes. out to all of us. And yes. we're taking pictures and posting. And it's quite a team. The Jane Unchained team. Quite a team. Shout out to all y'all out there that are watching. Woo! Woo! My we, watch, but what's the question? We've got, of course, and I appreciate that Douglas Owens brought up, I wonder how chocolate chips might work with these. Ah, uh, yes. Hello, chocolate chips. I thought about it. <laughs> But the only way, I mean, you can get vegan chocolate chips for sure, but they'd have to have sugar in them. So I thought for this particular recipe, I was going no sugar, but of no course sugar. you can do it. You but can, you can do sugarless. Yeah. I mean, you could do this as a sugarless. There are some stevia sweetened chocolate chips out there on the market. And oh, then okay. uh, yeah. maybe we can, it, we can put this in the link later, but I think it's the Food Empowerment Project that also has a link to researching basically a slave free chocolate, chocolate. Wow. so really yes. Yes. doing your research wow. on Absolutely. where is that chocolate coming from yes. especially yes. on valentine's yes. day it's a good yes. day to especially remember that on valentine's day i'm gonna want show another this one? plate again <laughs> i do i want more oh, i just want to show this oh my gosh i'm so excited again uh, and i think jane is watching hi jane shout out Hello. Hello. Happy Valentine's now if jane, jane was at the consulate the um Amazonian, uh, the Brazilian, Brazilian consulate, consulate today, yeah. and it was a global movement yeah. to awesome. save Brazil from oh, the goodness. overtaking, the overthrowing, essentially, of the big conglomerates taking over. And again, we've got to think about Vegan World 2026, Dr. Silesh Rao. If you don't know anything about this, just look at our content. You'll see. Type in, search. You'll find it. And, yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. Is there anything else? No, I'm thinking I, this trifecta here. I know. I hope you all enjoyed it. I, I actually would like to add yeah. something. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, okay. So I just, Coming it's well. Valentine's Day. So I wanted to do a shout out to all of the people, starting with Jane. But really, there's a long list of people. So shout out to the people I love. Jane, you were so incredibly fantastic and inspirational. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being tireless in what you do. But also Ellen and Paige and Renee and Katie Cleary and Dotsie Bausch and Dr. Mm -hmm. Greger and Dr. Barnard. And there's just so many people that I've interviewed and I love and everyone who's mm -hmm. working so hard on moving things forward for animals and changing animal lives. I am so grateful and oh, so appreciative. Beautiful. Right, everyone is Happy uniquely and everybody. beautifully oh, yeah. um, gifted, and so please lean in and share. We need your love <laughs> on this crazy <laughs> Valentine's Day. All right, we're grateful you joined Woo! us today on um, Lunch Break yeah. Live. Again, shout out to all the contributors and uh, the Jane team. Thank love, you. Love, Peace love. And love. Bye. Bye. -bye.